In this video, we're gonna live vibe code, a new feature inside our experimental kind of build in public tool called Linkberry. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt, welcome back to 100 Days of AI. Today, it's all about vibe coding in cursor with Claude code. And just for context, in case you haven't watched the last few episodes, we're building a SaaS tool live here on the channel. We're day five into it, and the app is basically done. It's called Linkberry, linkberry.ai if you wanna check it out. LinkedIn content that sounds like you. So we're basically building a LinkedIn agency uh, in SaaS format, right? So it's gonna interview you, it's gonna get your exact words and context and background and stories and history. And then it's gonna write amazing LinkedIn content for you to increase your thought leadership, personal brand on LinkedIn, which is the social network if you want to sell to businesses, okay? So that's Linkberry. You can go over and sign up for the wait list here hundreds of people on there already. We're gonna be opening the doors to early access in the next week or so probably, because the app is basically done. If you wanna take a look at the app over here, and we have some tweaks to do for sure. Uh, we have an error right now, but you have a dashboard of your post and post drafts. You can edit them, you can preview them as they would appear on LinkedIn over here. You can check out your voice profile, like your persona and your background and your personality and who your ideal customers are and things like that. Um, and you can do interviews. And in, within interviews, there are several different formats. One is kind of like setting the stage here. Hey, who am I? What am I all about? Who's my brand? Who do I talk to? These kinds of things. And then there are different types of interviews you can do to capture different pieces and elements of content from your story and the brand that you want to build. Cool. Okay. But the thing we're doing today is building engagement pods. And if you are uh, a LinkedIn person, you know that engagement pods are kind of like the deep dark secret of LinkedIn success for some people, allegedly. Pods being just small kind of micro communities of people that support each other. Uh, this is not against like LinkedIn terms of service, I don't believe, uh, but it's like just having a group of friends who go and support each other's posts every day. And so we're gonna give our users a little concise group of friends that they can go uh, support each other's content with and give a little boost to the algorithm. Cool, okay, so we have this sketched out in our plan file here. And so this is day 10 engagement pods. Uh, this has a lot of the kind of concept of what we want to build here. And what I'm going to do is I have Claude code running in the terminal down here. I just ran a whole bunch of tests, by the way. This is amazing. It has, I last night was playing around with this a little bit. I have this enormous test plan and it's going to be like days to write all these tests. There's so many tests that it wants to write. And so when I have free time, I just fire up Claude code and just have it write some tests. I actually ran over the usage limit for Claude code the first time yesterday. So I paid like $7 to have it run a bunch of tests last night because I was kind of wanting to, to get a bunch of stuff passed. But we have payments and Stripe and all this kind of stuff and it's all working well in here. But today we're gonna to build a new feature and that is pods. And so what I'm gonna do is go into plan mode and we haven't used plan mode on the channel here before, but if I'm down here in Claude code, uh, first I'll do slash clear to clear the context because we were writing a bunch of tests before. I don't need to use tokens on something that just doesn't need it. And then I'm in accept edits on mode right now. I'm gonna hit shift tab tab to go to plan mode. Um, so this just kind of, if you, if you look at the green bit down here, just shift tab moves you to normal mode to accept edits on mode and to plan mode. And so here in plan mode, I'm just gonna talk to it and say, hey, review this file. And, um, and now that it, I'm in this file, you can see that it knows that this is the context that I'm talking about. And I'm just gonna say, I wanna build this feature, read and analyze this document and give me a plan for how you're gonna build it. I now wanna proceed with the day 10 task, which is building engagement pods. Please review the task phase four markdown file and specifically the day 10 item, which details engagement pods, pod members, activities, and pod management, and create a detailed plan for us to begin creating this feature. And I created this in regular Claude, uh, and I'll just hit go here for it to begin planning. So plan mode is it's just talking to the LM, but it's not actually writing any code. It'll come back with a really comprehensive plan here and we'll just tell it to go. I don't know, and I would be curious to hear from you uh, if that is necessary because we have so much detail here. So we kind of did plan mode in Claude, regular Claude uh, web interface. 
So, you know, I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I haven't used plan mode a whole lot and I wanted to here so we can hopefully just one shot this feature. Um, so do you want to do this? Yes. So I feel like this is pretty comprehensive already, but uh, plan mode definitely gives us a better shot at kind of one shotting this rather big feature. Cause you know, imagine a pod has like, it has a pod, it has members, it needs to show posts, it needs to show analytics. Do, 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 do. what is this? Read project um, dot JSON. Okay. You know, I don't know. I don't know if this is like too big of a feature for it to one shot outside of using planning mode, but hopefully this way uh, we can do this. I also uh, heard from one of you that I should go ahead and connect the GitHub connection here so that I can create GitHub issues from a plan. I think that's kind of the next step as I was watching YouTube uh, and a guy said he goes into plan mode, creates a really big robust plan like you might for our billing test plan and then would create GitHub issues that would break this up a little bit because this is a big old huge thing and I could create a dozen different GitHub issues from this and then just go into GitHub and say, hey, hey at Claude, finish this uh, part of the test plan. So that might be the next thing I do. Maybe we'll get to that today. Maybe we won't. By the way, the format for this part of 100 Days of AI has been, I would go through a kind of recap and then we would vibe code <laughs> in a separate video. I'm kind of swishing that together just because I don't want to hold the goods. I just want to show you guys what I'm doing here and really just kind of work in public. By the way, this will probably be the last time we're just building software as any good founder knows, you need to market too. And we haven't been marketing as much. And I'm going to start using the tool to create really great LinkedIn content. And it's exactly the problem I think this product solves, which is I just forget, or I have a hard time creating content, or I don't really know what I want to write content about. I'm going to start using the tool starting tomorrow. Maybe that'll be what the video tomorrow is all about, is like, hey, I'm going to use this tool to create a bunch of LinkedIn content. By the way, while this is running, had somebody reach out about a community uh, and like, hey, do you have a community where we can all get together and talk about how we're using AI uh, and Claude Code and building software and building startups and businesses and stuff? It's something I've thought of, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it because like, building a community is really hard. It takes a lot of work. But if y'all are interested, let me know. Uh, drop in the, the, you know, in the comments, drop in community, the word community. If we get a bunch of folks saying, yeah, I'm interested, then we'll create a community. Uh, not in Discord and not in Slack. I don't know where it would be, but I don't like communities in either of those places. It would probably be in Circle. So if y'all are interested in a community around AI, vibe coding, indie kind of hacking kind of stuff, I'd be happy to look at that if people are interested. So just let me know, okay? Um, drop a comment below with the word community if you're interested. Okay, cool. So it's exploring the architecture. You know, it's doing a lot of thinking here. I can see, I'm kind of surprised that it's doing this much. You know, typically a feature like this would take about 10 minutes for Claude code to do. And it'll be interesting to see how much more or less of it it takes um, in this mode with using plan mode first before we just set it loose to go create a bunch of uh, a bunch of code and features and stuff. Okay, so plan, so it's done 34 tool uses, 64,000 tokens. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, based on my expiration date, da, 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 da. okay, great. So it's almost done. So, you know, I just, as an aside, like, I think it's pretty amazing that like in four days, we have a fully functioning SaaS app that accepts payments and like has a few bugs, but like largely works, like works great. I can open up the billing portal and I can manage my payments in Stripe. Like it's incredible. It's really incredible. Like as a as a person who owns a SaaS business, I own a SaaS business called Castos. We're a podcast hosting platform. Um, I mean, this is a much simpler tool than Castos, but just the months that it took to get to something like this with Castos the first time, which we built it almost ten years ago, um, from there to now is just it's it's astonishing what we're what we're able to do. Okay, cool. So we have our plan together here. I guess what I just said makes me feel really old. <laughs> Back in my day. Uh, okay, so here's the plan. Create these. So if I compare this to what we had here, this is definitely more detailed. Pod management API. Yeah, cool. So it describes the API routes and what they do. Pod feed and activity tracking. I like this. I like this a lot. I like that this is just a little more detailed. It's talking about the components, features, and gamification, integrating with existing features like the nav and the postcard and everything. 
uh, order, right? Get create the database tables first. Yep, make it. Okay, cool. So I like plan mode. I like this this workflow a lot. So the whole workflow while this is is going is I created a brief, like a product brief in Manus uh, from like just coming up with the idea, and then it was like cool. Okay, now create kind of the pitch of this brand and this concept and this problem that we're solving. And that was just like marketing speak. I loaded that into a Claude project and I had it create a detailed product roadmap acting as my virtual CTO. And so I'll just come over here to Claude. I was checking out plugins. I don't use any plugins yet, but I might start using plugins. So do you use plugins for Claude code? Let me know like in the description or in the comments if you're using plugins. Um, so I built like a, a CTO for this tool and I have like it has a system prompt and it has a bunch of contents here. And from that, it created a pretty technical um, testing plan, which is this one. But before that, it created this whole set of tasks for my tasks.md, which I had to break up because it was so big, and a plan.md file. So pretty cool that um, from Manus to Claude to Claude Code, basically get the whole stack for stuff that we want to do. Cool, so we have like database migration that we'll have to do in Suppabase, which is cool. You know, I tried to do the Suppabase MCP server, didn't work for some reason. So I have to go manually run the database migrations in Suppabase, which is not like a huge deal, but it's a deal. And then after that, the product is basically gonna be done. And what we need to do is like just little UI fixes. It's just gonna be a bunch of like paper cuts, right? Because <laughs> like there's a bunch of little things that are kind of buggy, and I need to do a bunch of just like straight up user testing probably. So like this, this should be paginated or something. This header thing is like offset and needs to be centered. But generally like the product works and I'm gonna be ready to start inviting y'all to start using it soon. And I'm really confident in the, the quality of the outputs that we can get. You know, from a strategy perspective, I'll probably manually want to onboard the first like 10 people. So if you are on the wait list and you want to get access to this, shoot me an email. You should have gotten an email from me when you signed up. If you want to get early access and sign up as a alpha user, uh, let me know. I, I'll have a couple of folks come in and start playing around with it. And then from there, we'll open it up to like slightly larger beta. Okay, so really from a roadmap perspective, like this is gonna work for like 20 more minutes or something. But I just wanna show in this video, I think plan mode with, with a pretty detailed plan already, right? This is a pretty detailed plan for this one feature. I like using plan mode. So. Uh, the idea being from like a product and company brief to a product sketch, which is what I would consider this, uh, to a plan using plan mode in Claude code. I like that workflow a lot. I think it's going to give us a pretty good chance to one shot this feature. Uh, but I'd be curious to hear how this compares to what you're doing in building software and vibe coding in Claude code. Like how is this uh, comparing to, to what you guys are doing? Again, the product is basically going to be done and we're going to turn to marketing mode which for me means uh, reaching out to folks in the LinkedIn space and just showing this off in public, using this to create really great LinkedIn content for me to increase my LinkedIn following and sharing that this is how I'm doing it with folks. So gonna be using AI to not create AI slop, to have other people create AI content. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. This has been a lot of fun for me. I hope this has been a fun format for you to follow along with. Um, and if you have any suggestions on things you'd like to see or not see in the channel or with the product, I guess, let me know, drop a comment in below. Otherwise, that's a wrap for today. I'll see you tomorrow where we start actually trying the tool, showing how it works and probably doing some debugging on future, uh, future bugs and issues that come up. But for now, the product is basically done. We're gonna work on testing and bug fixing, writing more unit tests, and then getting this in people's hands. Cause that's really where like the rubber meets the road. But I'm pretty proud that in five days, we built a SaaS app.